Hey everyone, welcome to Aegis Mode Adventures. In today's video, I'm going to do a video uh, describing how I uh, customized or modified a tongue trailer swivel jack so that I can use it to change the tire on the Aluma trailer. I considered just buying a scissor jack or a bottle jack uh, to do this job. However, each one of those uh, items requires that you have uh, some kind of extension handle it has to be placed underneath the trailer and you may even have to shim it with some boards or something of that nature uh, to be able to get the right height to be able to jack the trailer up i wanted something that was a little more uh, simple than that and easy to use without having to crawl underneath the trailer so this is what i came up with it's a uh, harbor freight weld on tongue jack and let me show you what I did here to uh, modify this. If I turn the uh, jack sideways here, this uh, piece right here at the bottom with my uh, on my fingers was originally snap ringed uh, to this portion here, and it was designed so that you could take this piece off here. If I uh, hold it down here, you can see where the snap ring went. That went inside. Uh, that ring uh, up there and then this piece was supposed to be welded on to the uh, tongue of the trailer and what I did was is I removed that piece and I went ahead and drilled holes in it here and uh, put it in at a 90 degree instead of parallel to the jack to leave a shelf here that the side of the trailer could sit in and then I also went ahead you could do this with a hacksaw I just happened to use a cutoff wheel on my uh, grinder and cut this out and notched it so it'll fit right between the aluminum extrusions I also notched the uh, other side of it here so that it would fit around the tube so I'd have enough room to uh, drill through the uh, main jack piece in order to put these bolts on to bolt that piece onto this at a right angle. And one of the things I've done is I've gone ahead and located on both sides of the trailer exactly where I can insert the jack. I just used some uh, permanent marker here which should last for quite a while uh, before it wears off and then I'll have to redo it of where to actually put the jack. And the last thing I did was is because I wanted to make sure that the handle had plenty of clearance above the railing here. I went ahead and uh, took this portion of the handle off the jack and put it in my vise and heated up this section right here because there was a bend in this section right there. I heated it up and straightened it. And now the handle is uh, nice and high and will clear the side of the trailer. And I can still get plenty of leverage on it uh, to swing it around uh, with this uh, plastic handle up here. And this is what it looks like with the wheel off the ground. You can easily uh, jack it up and get the wheel off the uh, ground so that you can go ahead and uh, remove that and put your spare on. Uh, pretty simple. And the cost of this particular uh, jack, I think, was only about $35 or $36 from Harbor Freight. So it's an inexpensive jack. It's got a 2,000 pound capacity, so it'll easily handle the uh, lifting even if the trailer's loaded with both the motorcycles, we have no problem whatsoever uh, jacking it up. So this should work out really good for me and it fits easily inside the toolbox. Well, some of the things we customize or modify for uh, use uh, for Aegis Moto Adventures here is uh, requires specialty tools. In this particular case, you can do this type of thing at home with just a drill and a hacksaw. And it'll make a really nice jack for you for a trailer if you need it. Well, if you like this video, please give it the big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care.